This is the first time that Rally Faith Montelongo has been part of the ERC. Brand new rally, so uh, completely uh, new stages. Uh, it will be really interesting. Uh, everyone has the same experience. So uh, for sure, the, the Ricky was really important, uh, trying to make really good pace note to be directly uh, in the good pace. On the proper Ricky, on the moment we, we go through the stage, uh, I just write pace notes and correct it because we, we have to keep a, a quite good pace just to feel the roads and Greg can feel it like in the race, not the same speed, but a, a, a small overview. Uh, it's about uh, the grip, for, for example, on tarmac, really important to see uh, uh, if it's consistent or if it's changing uh, during the stages, also between the different stages, uh, also uh, with uh, the, the length of the stage, how you will manage the tires and everything. And then uh, just the, the stage in general, uh, how twisty it is, uh, if it's hard for the tires and everything. Yesterday we reeked, uh, it was completely dry, and then today it was constantly changing. So for sure it will not be easy. Uh, we'll also see uh, during the rally itself, uh, if it changed between the stages, it will be uh, difficult for the tire choice. Well, let's see how the rally went. Okay. Gregoire. On a cool Saturday morning, with all the preparation done, time to head into battle. condition that we had on the second stage will stay also in the third one but it was fully dry here so uh, we way too soft with the tire it's a bit the challenge of the week in making the right decision with such unpredictable weather conditions Greg just had to make the best of whatever tires they had fitted at the time not always easy but by the end of leg one he was running in a strong fourth place and even after the action is over for the day, the work doesn't stop as the team prepares the car for the next leg. Gregoire and Louis also take the chance to sit down and analyze their onboard camera footage to see if there's anything they can improve on for day two, or possibly adjust the car to help them push even harder. And finally, a chance to stop and reflect on the day. Really tough day with a uh, changing condition, uh, raining, then sunny, everything's drying up, and then raining again. So it was really difficult to make the, the good tire choice. You have good grip, and then suddenly it's just gone. So in stage uh, five, um, it was quite humid. We came uh, into the corner, and then we had a little bit too much speed. So I tried to balance the car before the corner, try to get that lateral grip. Unfortunately, it came a bit too late, that grip, so uh, we just like touched a bit uh, the outside. I don't know if it was a wall, but yeah, for sure, uh, it was not good. Uh, lucky we only uh, like bend the wheel, so we could uh, continue and just change it after the stage. So uh, we were lucky on this one. He did very well. OK, he made a bad tire choice for the second loop, but I think everybody makes uh, bad choices but it's a very good end of the day because he did his first best time in the last stage so we're very happy for him it's good for the confidence for tomorrow to start with that and being a father and a team manager of the team is not easy because you know you want to 
to do the best for the team, but you also hope to your son is going well. So it's very stressful, especially when the times are not coming on time, and then we are there at the, behind the computer and uh, waiting and refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. So it's very stressful, but it's okay. We get used. Well, no, we don't get used to it, but anyway, it's like that. A new day, but the weather remains the same or different, changeable. It's going to be just as intense as day one. Gregoire was pushing hard in the morning stages in fourth position, knowing that he was now the top ERC1 junior competitor. confident we we already not uh, taking too much risks now we don't have so much uh, to uh, to play but a lot to to lose so we try to be uh, to be cautious as they prepare to go out for the final loop there was concern they were being a little optimistic choosing slicks Although it looks as though the field's decisions are split 50 50 so only time would tell who had made the correct choice. In the end, they did make the right call. It was Gregoire's first ERC1 junior win. Bah, bravo, en tout cas. Bravo à toi. As they cross the line despite the rain, Gregoire wants to celebrate on the roof. Louis not quite so keen in case they slip off. And when they get back to base, the celebrations really begin. Gregoire's dad and mum Andre were clearly delighted with what he had achieved here in Portugal. good weekend uh, it was really tricky but uh, we made it together we worked uh, really hard made really good pace note and uh, we managed when uh, when it was needed uh, we took it carefully and sometimes when we had to attack then we did it and uh, we did it well